Hello and welcome everyone. This is another session from Tutorials Diary. Before we jump to this session, let's try to go cover the basics. So I'm hopeful that everyone is aware about blockchains. If not blockchain, at least bitcoins, you might be aware. And so blockchain is a technology behind bitcoins. So this is not limited to cryptocurrencies, but this can be used for another scenario as well. So you might have heard about Ethereum blockchain, which is one type of blockchain apart from bitcoins. So you might have also heard about different type of blockchains, which we have in Ethereum. One is a mainnet blockchain, which is actual live running Ethereum blockchain. So if you want to interact with that mainnet blockchain, you have to pay some amount. You have to uh, spend some ether to make some transaction on that main blockchain. Apart from that, you also have some test blockchain which you can use to test your smart contract. And then you have also Ganesha blockchain which you can use for your local testing. And most of people has reached out to us to ask about that what step they have to follow to set up their own blockchain. So instead of using this Ganesha, Testnet and other blockchains, how they can have their own blockchain set up on their systems. So in this video, we'll show you how you can set up your own private blockchain on your system, which you can use and you can also give the access to others to use that blockchain. So this session is specific to Windows. So whatever step we'll show you that is specific to Windows only. So here we have mentioned about five steps. So this is the five step which we'll follow today in this session to show you how you can set up your own blockchain. So first of all, the Git has to be installed on your system. If you don't know how to install Git and what step you have to follow, I would recommend you to go to our one of the videos where we have shown how you can install Git on your system. I will also share a link down below in the videos so you can just go over the video and get to know how you can install Git on your Windows system. Then we'll create Genesis block. So Genesis block, uh, if I give you at very high level, this is the first block on a blockchain. So since we are setting up your own blockchain, so you have to start with Genesis blockchain. Genesis block, that is your first block on a blockchain that you will create from your side. Then you will keep on adding the blocks on top of that Genesis block. So then we create a directory on our system, which we'll use and we'll uh, start using the directory as our blockchain because all the data will get saved to the directory. And then we'll create, we'll run one init command to create, to start with the blockchain. And then we have another command, which will uh, mention about the port numbers and uh, whether we have to allow the remote connections or not. So that we'll discuss in the details in this session. So let's go step by step. Again, I mentioned that I will not cover how to install Git. So again, you can go to the last videos, which will share uh, the links and you can just go and install the Git on your system. So let's go from the step number two. So what step you have to follow to create Genesis block on your system. So I will show you the uh, data of that one. So I already uh, have one, have a notepad open. So this is how your Genesis block look like. So here it is starting config. Chain ID will be the ID for this blockchain. So every blockchain in Ethereum has its own ID. So we are mentioning the chain ID here from our side. So homestead block is, this is the Ethereum version, or you can say this is the latest version of Ethereum, which is a, uh, currently running in production. And then difficulty, uh, how difficult do you want to make to miners to mine that transactions. So I would recommend to keep it very, very low since we are creating our first private blockchain and gas limit, it should be high. So because you will use this gas to for transaction on this blockchain, so it should be very high. So alloc, we have kept it blank. So we haven't added any fake ether to the accounts because we will use that. We will add the ether using the mining approach, which will show you in the latest stages. So I will share this code in, in the below video description. So you can take this piece of code and save a one file with the name uh, .json. You can keep that file name, any name, and but extension has to be .json. 
So this is your step first step. So use this code and save this as genesis.json file. So this is how you can create your genesis file. So now we will go to the next step where we will run the get command to create a directory and to start this private blockchain to start building our private blockchain for that one so what we will do we will run this command which is uh, git data directory this one then init command and new genesis let me first of all show you and then let me just run that command then i will show you that what step you have to follow for that one what each command means so i will go over that one let me take that copy of the command from here so we'll go to my command prompt I will paste it here okay now if you can see let me make it bigger so I have run this command get data directory so th this is first thing that okay I'm creating my blockchain in the e drive I have created a folder here in the e drive which is private blockchain and then it is running the init command and then it is creating the uh, genesis block so my genesis block file name is custom genesis.json as i mentioned earlier your genesis file name should be your .json so once you run this command this is how it should look like now you can go and check to your system whether you have that folder created or not i will go to my e drive you can see that one a folder got created if you go to this folder you will see like this one some file will come for you as of now so today okay let me run this command again let me delete this file this folder let me run this command again for you so once you run this command say enter so you can see this one this is creating this folder again and you can just go here get chain data here you, the all the information will get stored under this folder so this is your very first command which you have to run now let's take the second command which you have to run to complete your private blockchain i will take this one from here i will go to my command prompt let me go there and paste it here so this again rain so let me show you that okay now let me explain about this command first of all this is a git again uh, now identity identity means your name of your blockchain so i have mentioned here local b you can give any name from your side and this rpc command which you see it here so this is mentioning that you are allow, allowing this uh, blockchain to be accessed remotely and the remote port number which i'm mentioning is 8280 okay so this will help let me show you again again not a directory is this one uh, where we have installed this blockchain the port number will be by default 30303 and network id is 1991 so this network id will be different for each blockchain for ethereum mainnet blockchain the network id is right now one and for different test blockchains you have different uh, network ids so this way you can create your blockchain so now your blockchain is ready to use okay so now this two commands you have to just run on your system to start to set up your own private blockchain on your system now you can just go to this folder again to your e drive check check it there you will see the same folder now you can see one file got saved here which is microsoft office access record which was not there before so once you run that second command it came here now whatever you do on a blockchain it will get saved to this file so now let's run few commands which we have mentioned the ppt so you can see this one so this command you can use to create the new account then you can get the balance of this account using this command then you can use this command to unlock your account and miner mining can be started using this miner.start and miner mining can be stopped using this command miner.stop so let's try to run this commands I will say personal dot new account once I will run this command okay spelling is wrong dot new account 
So now it will ask for passphrase. You can mention, I'm just mentioning one passphrase from my side. It should be same. So now you can see this will create a account for me. So now I can copy this account address and I will use this one going forward. I will save to my notepad. So this is my account address. Now, next thing that I can get, I can use a balance command which you can see here eth dot get balance and you have to mention the address which we have copied right now if you get this one okay so you can see the balance right now is zero okay because we haven't used this account we haven't added any ether to this account so there are n number of commands which you can use there are a few other commands which i mentioned which is most commonly used personal dot unlock account if your account is locked you can use this command to unlock to mining to start mining you can use miner dot start and that will start mining for you and as you start mining with this account it added some ether will get added to your account and that will be shown at some later stages so this will start running your mining and if you want to stop your mining you can use miner.stop okay and now if you want to access this uh, blockchain from external world because you have mentioned rpc enabled you can go to remix and you can also test that one whether you are able able to connect to this blockchain or not so let me show you also that one how you can uh, connect to this blockchain from remix we will go over the remix so if you remember the port which we have mentioned is 8280 so let's see whether we can connect to this private blockchain from remix or not so but to enable this one you have to mention that the rpc is enabled which we have mentioned the command so it is taking some time let's go to the run command which we have discussed described in the last few sessions we'll go to the third option which is web3 provider say okay now our port is 8280 so click on okay here once you click on ok it should show success that means we are able to connect this blockchain successfully ok now you can see let me make it bigger here so you can see here this is connected now you can see this code connected and this is showing the two accounts which we right now having it is having zero ethers so this means you can now play around with this blockchain from the remix you can start de uh, deploying your smart contract which we have described in the old sessions and now you can go ahead and deploy on this blockchain so this is all the steps which you have to follow let me show you again so this is mining is starting uh, just now on this one okay so miner dot stop also you can just say to stop your mining this will say true so this is how what operations you can perform on this blockchain so this is very straightforward as you can see to set up your own private blockchain on windows systems i'm hopeful that this video is helpful uh, for you to set up your own blockchain and play around with your own private blockchain thanks for watching